Step into the world of Genghis Khan, the legendary conqueror born in 1162. Brace yourself for a tale that spans vast empires and intimate chambers, where power and passion intertwine in the most captivating of ways. Genghis Khan, a name that echoes through the annals of history, holds the coveted title of the greatest conqueror in human history. His armies, like a relentless force of nature, forged the colossal Mongol Empire, the largest land empire ever known. But beyond his military prowess, Genghis Khan's personal life was a tapestry woven with intricate threads of desire, love, and legacy. Amidst the chaos of conquest, Genghis Khan, a man of insatiable appetites, indulged in numerous relationships. He reveled in the embrace of six wives and commanded the affections of approximately 500 concubines. Such was his magnetic allure that to this day, an astonishing 16 million males, comprising 0.5% of the global male population, share a genetic link with the great Khan himself, a testament to his potent legacy. In the court of the Mongol Empire, the princess daughters of influential clans became pawns in a game of power and diplomacy. With a hunger for beauty, Genghis Khan would inquire about the most exquisite women in each conquered region. When whispers of a particularly captivating soul reached his ears, he would declare with unwavering determination, I will find her. Thus the conqueror handpicked the fairest of maidens, drawn to those graced with small noses, rounded hips, cascading tresses, and voices that could enchant the heavens. A point system became his tool for assessment, and any woman deemed unworthy of his affections was bestowed upon his trusted officers. Yet Genghis Khan was not merely a conqueror, he was a master of strategy and diplomacy. Through intermarriage, he wove a delicate web of alliances, using women as diplomatic tools to maintain peace between disparate clans. Every conquered tribe brought forth a new wife for the Khan's harem. The Tanguts surrendered their leader's daughter, Chua, into Genghis Khan's embrace. The Jin dynasty, in their bid to appease the mighty Khan, offered one of their emperor's daughters and other treasures of immeasurable worth. Genghis Khan retained some of these women as his own, while others were bestowed upon his loyal commanders and subordinates. In the labyrinthine chambers of his heart, Genghis Khan's romantic life entwined both forced relationships and consensual unions. Although concubines filled his court, he displayed a remarkable tenderness and reverence for his wives. Among them, his first wife, Borte, held a special place. Betrothed at the tender age of ten, their union faced an early challenge when the rival Merkit tribe abducted Borte into the Mongol steppes. The act of stealing women from rival tribes was a common practice, and Genghis Khan, following in his father's footsteps, launched a formidable rescue mission. After eight harrowing months of captivity, Borte was liberated, her spirit unbroken. In a testament to Genghis Khan's unwavering devotion, she gave birth to a son named Joki, whom he accepted and cherished as his own, despite lingering doubts about his biological parentage. Borte's counsel became a guiding light in Genghis Khan's life, a testament to the belief in Mongol society that Wiswivis could prevent men from making foolish decisions. She ascended to the esteemed position of Grand Empress, and only her sons were deemed Genghis Khan's legitimate heirs. Polygamy was a reality embraced in Mongol society by those who possessed the means. Genghis Khan, a man of vast wealth, had six wives. Among them, his affection for Kulan, his second wife, burned with an intensity that defied the ravages of time. She rode by his side, a warrior queen, as he embarked on countless military campaigns. The spoils of victory further expanded his harem, as two Tartar princesses joined his court, their beauty rivaling the radiance of the sun. Each wife possessed her own tent, presiding over her children and ruling over a distinct territory. And yet, among them all, it was Borte, who held the reins of influence and power. 
her voice resonating with unparalleled significance in the life of Genghis Khan. In the year 1226, Genghis Khan returned from the far reaches of Persia, called back to quell a rebellion by the Tangut in China. During his absence, the Tangut royal family had reclaimed their independence, challenging the might of the Mongols. Legend whispers of a dream that visited Genghis Khan's slumber the night before the decisive battle in 1227. In his vision, he beheld a tapestry of red blood staining the pristine white snow. His oracles explained that the blood symbolized the Tangut prince's blood and the snow represented the prince's daughter. The following day, the Mongols triumphed over the Chinese and killed the prince. Genghis Khan claimed the prince's daughter as a prize, taking her to his tent. The Legacy of Genghis Khan A flame that burned bright across the pages of history extended far beyond his lifetime. His descendants, bearers of his bloodline, wielded influence over Asian societies for centuries to come. Their elevated status granted them access to a multitude of women and, with it, the opportunity to sow the seeds of future generations. Genghis Khan's son, Tolui, fathered an astonishing forty sons, while his grandson, the illustrious Kublai Khan, renowned for hosting the intrepid traveler Marco Polo, boasted twenty-two legitimate sons and a harem that knew no bounds. The lineage of Genghis Khan, a river of heritage and power, flowed through the veins of Babur, the founder of the magnificent Mughal Empire in India. Like his forefather, Babur embraced the practice of multiple wives and reveled in the joys of fatherhood. So it is that the story of Genghis Khan, the great conqueror, intertwines with the tapestry of love, desire, and legacy. From the battlefield to the sanctity of his harem, he left an indelible mark on history through his conquests and the remarkable women who graced his life. A man of boundless ambition, he harnessed the power of love and marriage to forge alliances and shape the destiny of nations. As the echoes of this tale fade into the annals of time, the legend of Genghis Khan endures, a testament to the enduring power of love, passion, and the complex tapestry of human relationships.